this weather is really beginning to get nasty out there this evening. David is in the Weather Center right now with a very important update for us. David. Yeah, I just mentioned a moment ago the report of softball-sized tail out here just to the west of Lake Worth. That same cell pulling to the east is now being confirmed that we've got rotation within that cloud. Uh, official storm spotters out there are observing rotation. We've had no tornado touchdown, but a tornado warning has now been issued. Uh, here, once again, uh, we're watching. Now, that uh, looks suspicious. See that flash on the horizon? Storm spotting around Fort Worth. We did get a report at University and Westfield, downtown Fort Worth, of a debris field from what seems to be a tornado. David, we just had a call from a uh, storm spotter at 4th and 6th Street, downtown, apparently right where they split. That's where the funnel is at the moment. It is heading east. So if you are in that area, you need to take shelter immediately. Oh, well, all right. Look at this. This is a live picture, and we do seem to have a tornado right in downtown Fort Worth right now. Uh, our camera is uh, being shaken. You can see the debris flying through the air. This is a live picture from the top of the building in downtown Fort Worth, and you can see the swirling uh, debris in the storm. This is incredible. We have a tornado live in downtown Fort Worth. It's just incredible. Video. David, have you I, ever I've seen never, anything like I this? I have never seen a tornado live. Rebecca, you just drove in. Can you tell us what you drove through, what you've seen? Well, first of all, uh, let me let me update you on some information David just brought us, is that they are now seeing flashes of uh, green lights and transformers being blown out right around I-30 in Collins. So that's where the worst of the storm is right now. David's bringing me some information at this time. And the, the debris, the rain shaft in front of it just uh, completely obliterated the view of the funnel, but you can certainly see how how clearly defined it was here. Right, you can cross North Fort Worth. You could see the debris. You could hear the. You could hear the wind just rushing past. Now, how far do you estimate you were from the storm? At this I would point? say about half a mile at the most. Uh, that's probably being a, a little generous. Probably closer than that. Quarter of a mile to half a mile. I don't know how you had the nerve to stand. There, did you there. see that flash? Yeah, there? yeah. We had transformers blowing up. Right. There, there were, you know, people telling us to keep moving, keep moving, get going, and we just couldn't resist. Well, that is some incredible. Well, we're glad video. you couldn't <laughs> resist because we got some really amazing. Time. Yeah, this, this is the, the, the view that we didn't have before from, yeah. from our vantage point looking from downtown northward. The, the debris, the rain shaft in front of it just uh, completely obliterated the view of the funnel. But you can certainly see how clearly defined it was here right. you can, across North Fort Worth. You could see the debris. You could hear the, you could hear the wind just rushing past. Now, how so my new video has been turned into us here at NBC5, and this was taken by a man named Eric Shue from the Electric Building in Fort Worth. And at this point, I would assume this would probably be the same tornado, although we're not sure whether there were two funnels or one at this point. But he took this from the Electric Building, and of course, we've slowed down the video here at, at some point, and another dramatic view of uh, power flashes and debris flying throughout the downtown area. This would have been right around uh, 620, 625 p.m. this evening, and uh, there you can you know, briefly see the funnel and some of the debris flying around. Obviously not quite as dramatic as the uh, video that was uh, shot uh, from Stephen earlier from Henderson Street, but uh, very scary video nevertheless. Just as we were coming here, we saw something black moving quickly come straight back toward us. I got got the breakup pulled up just in time for all of us to get off the bus and run and hide. We had enough time to get out. They laid on the floor and the wall came off, sucked off, uh, left them on the floor. They were okay. They walked out. They were fine. Uh, it was just a miracle of God that, uh, that there wasn't more damage. One of our other youth pastors was uh, right across the street in one of our other buildings, looked out the door and saw the uh, tornado literally engulf the whole church. As an entire city was being told to get down, take cover, stay away, some people were duty bound to do the opposite, to take the storm head on. We kind of knew we, we pulled into a zone, a hot zone, we just didn't know how hot it was. At one point, paramedic Larry Redmond drove his ambulance right under the tornado on his way to treat a man who had just been ravaged by it. He was laying right here, face down. In fact, that's his shirt right there. I guess the scariest thing was was not knowing where the people, the employees that I work with, where they were, if they were safe. And even scarier. I could see the, the funnel fly out and a lot of debris as I was in route. Minutes later, Grant was on the scene. His men were okay. And they all walked away with a greater appreciation for the danger that is just a funnel cloud away.